The security environment in the Port of Long Beach is pretty complex. We're situated right next to the Port of Los Angeles. The two ports together account for over 40% of the containerized cargo and materials that enter the United States. There are so many moving parts to a port complex of this size, the simple fact is you can't cover everything. So you have to prioritize. You have limited resources. So where are you gonna drive your resources for that day? It's a weights and balance thing about where you assign your resources. The best way to do that is to have all the information you can possibly have about your common operating picture for the day to help drive that decision-making process. The strength is all of these open source uh, data are available uh, within virtual port. Hundreds of cameras in the port complex, traffic management systems, social media. Esri has built us a glorious system. I believe it's the only one of its kind in the nation. The Port of Long Beach has invested in this heavily, uh, not just financially, but in terms of our own personnel and the skin that we've put in the game. Virtual port will evolve with, with our threat environment and with the technology of running a port. So as an incident commander, I can ask my operator, where are the utility facilities here? Uh, what's the plume modeling? Yeah, what direction is the air headed? Are there any construction sites that would be difficult to get emergency uh, vehicles in and out of an area? My life is much easier as, a, as an incident commander to have all that information in one location. From a much broader perspective, it's almost instantaneous and it provides decision makers with the information they need in terms of identifying what resources they have, and making a decision of which resources respond, holding resources back, and should something happen, identify the avenues to recover from a business perspective and business resiliency. Esri's been a great partner, and we couldn't be more pleased with where virtual port is in the Port of Long Beach today, and where we expect it'll be in five years.